Known as one of the most vicious predators in Sea of Thieves, Megalodons patrol the open waters for unsuspecting crews they can make a quick snack out of. They were originally introduced into the game as a limited time encounter during the Hungering Deep content update back in 2018, where only the Hungering One Megalodon, better known as the classic Blue Megalodon, could be summoned by groups of at least five pirates playing Merrick Shanty at map coordinate T26. Yes, you heard me right when I said five pirates. That means crews actually had to team up to even summon the Megalodon. Soon after the end of the Hungering Deep update, Rare decided to add the Megalodon as a permanent encounter in the game, which was a much appreciated change given the lack of content in the game at the time. Fast forward to the present day, and we now have a full set of five Megalodon species we can randomly encounter in the sea, as well as some commendations to earn for taking them down. Each Megalodon species can be distinguished by its color pattern, which are as follows. The Hungering one, as was previously mentioned, is a blue variant with green eyes, and it even sometimes has a light blue dorsal fin. The Crested Queen is a dark purple variant with a purple dorsal fin and purple eyes. Shadow Maw is a dark gray variant, which has a red dorsal fin and orange eyes. The Ancient Terror is a yellow variant with a yellow dorsal fin and yellow eyes. And lastly comes the Shrouded Ghost, which is a pale white variant with a peach colored fin. As you might already know, the Shrouded Ghost is the rarest Megalodon in Sea of Thieves. And when I say rare, well, let's just say in the many years I've been playing, I have yet to even see the Shrouded Ghost. And on top of that, I don't personally know anybody else who claims to have seen it either. During the limited time adventure called The Shrouded Deep, which ran from April 21st through May 12th of 2022, pirates who made it to the third chapter had the chance to take on an exclusive version of The Shrouded Ghost with Merrick. But this version of The Shrouded Ghost wasn't really all that special, since practically anyone could fight it, and taking it down did not count towards completing any of the commendations for defeating the regular, extremely rare version. So, if you ever come across the Shrouded Ghost on the sea during one of your voyages, it is absolutely worth stopping whatever you're doing to take it on. To get a Megalodon to spawn, you need to be sailing on the open sea and avoid being close to islands. Megalodons won't spawn if you're near an island, and if one is actively fighting you and your ship veers too close to an island, the Megalodon will despawn. But if you're fast enough, you can try to get the same Megalodon to spawn on your ship again by leaving the island and searching for it where it first appeared. But other than sailing on the open sea, there's not much else you can do to increase the chances of a Megalodon spawning. However, it is worth noting that multiple Megalodons can't spawn in the same region of the map. So if you see another ship fighting a Megalodon nearby, you'll need to either wait for the ship to defeat it so a new one has a chance of spawning, wait for the Megalodon to despawn so you can try to get it to attack your ship instead, or you just need to move to a new region to have a chance of a different one spawning around your ship. You'll know if a Megalodon has spawned near your ship if you hear this tense music, which is unique to the Megalodon. Once a Megalodon spawns, you'll want to stick around the same area where it first showed up. Otherwise, if you get too far away, it will despawn and you'll have to backtrack to find it again. The most tried and true way to kill a Megalodon is by using the cannons on your ship. Though you can actually damage them with all sorts of weapons, from your flintlock pistol to gunpowder barrels. Still, cannons are probably the easiest and most consistent way to take them down. The difficulty of a Megalodon is scaled to the size of the ship it spawns on, both in terms of the health it has and the damage it deals. To defeat a Megalodon, for a sloop it will take around 10 to 13 cannonballs, for a brigantine around 15 to 18, and for a galleon somewhere around 30 to 32 cannonballs. Additionally, whenever a Megalodon charges and bites a ship, it can create anywhere from 1 to 5 holes in the ship's hull where typically the larger the ship, the more damage it takes. All Megalodon variants have the same treasure pool, and much of what they drop is completely left up to chance. After defeating a Megalodon, you'll always get four to six pieces of Megalodon meat, and anywhere from five to 12 random treasure items, which include things like stronghold skulls, treasure chests, ashen items, and more. 
As you can imagine, the fact the loot is this random can drastically change the value of every Megalodon you face. And unfortunately, there's no telling what you're going to get as a reward until you finally defeat one. You can minimize the damage a Megalodon deals to your ship, or stop its bite attack entirely by firing cannonballs at its mouth when it charges. Land two hits on a sloop, four hits on a brigantine, or six hits on a galleon to force the Megalodon back into circling your ship. Also know that sharks will appear near a Megalodon's body once it's defeated, so be careful when retrieving your loot. You can either dispatch of the sharks first, or position your ship so you can reach the loot with your harpoon. And lastly, both skeleton ships and skeleton-operated land cannons will fire at megalodons if they come in range of each other. So sometimes you may find yourself getting a helping hand from what are typically your enemies. That just about covers everything you need to know about megalodons. Keep your eyes peeled for these massive sharks as you sail the seas. And make sure to take them down if you want to complete all of the commendations associated with them. Don't forget to subscribe for even more Sea of Thieves content, and I hope you enjoyed.